In the summer of 2023, aerospace company Prismatic embarked on a journey that few have even attempted before. A solar-powered pseudo-satellite operating in the stratosphere. They succeeded. The Phase 35 system is breaking through technology barriers and leading in the race towards the edge of space. There's been for a long time an interest in operationalizing the stratosphere. It's an unknown area. There's very little data on stratospheric flight. The ability to fly a solar powered vehicle there is stretching the technology to the limit. And having systems that can operate in the stratosphere offer us a, a strategic advantage to both the commercial and military markets. A sensor operating the stratosphere is going to be far closer to the Earth's surface than the lowest um, low Earth orbit satellite. So the latency between the ground and, and the sensor is far lower. The fidelity of the image is higher. And unlike a satellite, so it looks down every orbit, we can sit in the stratosphere persistently for months on end, observing a pattern of life on the Earth. FASA incorporates a range of world-leading technology, including advanced composites, energy management, and solar electric arrays to achieve 24-hour flight. Without the need to be refueled, FASA 35 is able to operate over an area of interest for several months, significantly reducing costs and expanding capabilities. The system itself is, is much more than just an aeroplane. Think of it not as an aeroplane, more of a, a, a satellite that you can reposition. FASA is much more than an aircraft. It's an entire ecosystem of cutting-edge technology that integrates advanced meteorological forecasting, automated flight controls, and modeling, bringing the elements together to reach heights that few have dreamed of. So we're going to sit at uh, 20 kilometres, 65,000 feet high, and from there we have a horizon of 400 kilometres. So we, yeah, we, we don't need to look straight down, we can look out sideways, and, that, and that's, a, that's a tactical advantage. I think having cracked it and proved that our system is technically feasible and operationally viable, we've got, it opens up a whole host of possibilities in the, in the military world for uh, observation and communications, but also in the commercial market. The engineering of FASA has the future customer in mind. Due to its incredibly strong airframe, FASA 35 can carry a 15 kilogram payload. And with its plug and play electrical systems, customers can develop their own payloads and be confident in mission success. We've done the experiment, we've got reality, and we can then lay out a very firm development program that's going to give us a market entry system. And we are number one on the runway to operationalize the stratosphere and the landing it three feet off the center line, 50 feet from the taxiway. That's some achievement. Phaser 35, the future of stratospheric flight.